Hey y'all, so I got another review. I've been popping them out lately, bro. Let me tell you. For, this is for a line that never, ever, 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 ever fails me. No matter what. And my hair loves everything from this line. Literally loves. I'm almost done. I'm almost finished. Let's pin them back up the way. Came at Biologics. She had a couple of products that I didn't review. And the latest one is Ethiopica Twist and Butter. It smells like. I'll show you. I'll show you the consistency when I start twisting my hair. When I start doing this section. It's like a lavender, citrus lavender. This is it. This is a five ounce jar that'll last you a million years because you don't need a lot. Also, I don't think I've reviewed this. The Moringa Tree Conditioning Game from her. Yeah, I love this Moringa stuff. You don't need a lot. Her stuff you never need, you never ever need a lot. I'm also twisting with the Honeybush Tea Soft Oil Gel. Got my lip right in it. Hey, it kind of tastes sweet. <laughs> don't do that. I wouldn't suggest anyone do that. This always smells good. So, I washed, steamed with my deep condition in it, and now I'm twisting my hair. Now, as you can see, I'm almost done. This is damp. This is damp. I don't know how the heck she made a butter that feels silky when I put it on my hair and still feels sick, silky once it's dry. But there you go kiddos, it does. This is still damp. And not feeling tangled up and crazy like it, my hair usually does when um, it starts getting so drying. Alright, so I already let this in. I'll show you the consistency of this. One pump, you don't need a lot. It's like a lotion. See, it's a very light lotion. I'm gonna put this in my ass. And like I said, that was already put in my hair after conditioning. I mean, yeah, after conditioning. It's not the deep conditioner. So we're gonna part. Butter. I don't know how she did this, but it's freaking amazing. I, like I said, I don't need a lot. That's probably even too much. But, so you see my hands are wet, right? Look at this. Into a cream that easily distributes in my hair. See how there's nothing sitting on top? I don't know. How the heck she did that? I swear, I don't know how. But this stuff has been melting into my strands, and oh, God, that just feels freaking silky. And I'm taking a little bit of gel on this section that I'm using. A little of this soft oil gel. Separate. Next step is gonna make someone cringe, but I'm warning you, this is how I don't get knots. If people ask me, how do you prevent a lot of single strand knots? Kind of. You kind of can't. If you have curly hair, you, you're going to get them. But this is how I kind of prevent them. See this Mason Pearson, which the letters have rubbed off on. This is the C3 comb. Now my hair's already been, been, been detangled with a big comb. And then a slightly smaller comb. And now I'm using this. I just take my time and go through it. This is the tightest section of my head. Oh here. And I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna twist.
Somebody was also asking me how I twist my hair. It was like this. Same as you see me doing any other videos. But I also try to keep the ends from knotting up. So I take my comb again when we get closer to the ends and I run them down. Yeah, this twisting butter is. Oh my god. Now, it's funny. I've used it. I'd use a little bit on um. My hair was, it was freaking starting to feel dry and then I think I had like gel in it or something one day. And I used a little bit on top of it just to refresh it. And that section felt so soft afterwards. When I dropped. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Think of body wash. But seriously, Kim, it, there's nothing that she's made that my hair doesn't like. That's why some people ask me, they said, do you still use that line? Yes. I will never not use that line. That's one of the best. That's a line I use when um, I first went natural. And to this day, I'll still use it. I use everything from that line. There's nothing she's made. I remember the low back. It was a cedar tree hair balm. She even had some kind of, I think it was Karite Curl Korean. That was I, that was before I freaking found out about her line. That's way back. But she had, still had a cedar tree. That was great. There was an aloe cream detangler for those who remember it. Remember she did her, um, the bar soap, the soap of a lap. Oh, God. That was my favorite thing. And the scent, I loved the scent of that. You know, it's funny. I think I actually still have, like, two bars of that shampoo left. I use sparingly. Oh, I got a hair on my face. So, yeah. Fun, huh? Let's go on to the next section. Just freaking melts into your strands. Love it. I literally take a little bit of the um the honey bush gel. You just need a dab. Just to moisten your strands with it and you can twist. Make you laugh also. This comb, when I do a wash and go, I use that comb on every piece on my hair. However, way I section it, I use a comb. I don't know, for some reason, my hair, like you know how you can do with um, the Denman and curl it at the ends? That comb just, that comb works on my hair. I get uniform. How can I explain it? I get like great clumpage. I'll say that it's for lack of a better <laughs> description. This is Norman Brown playing. If you ever get a chance, look at his music up. It's great. Great, very quiet, very soothing tones.
So yes, I approve of this butter. I love this hair butter. How much is it? I have to look back on the website. I don't remember. I need some more of her pomade. Her armor pomade. I love that stuff. Okay. I'm gonna go finish this head. And then go do my laundry. Oh, fun. We love doing laundry. Okay.